Hey guys, appreciate you tuning in to my YouTube station. Uh, I'm a big believer in keeping things simple. And so this week is going to all be about how to simplify things within your program. I actually got started in the YouTube kind of little mini clinic deals talking about keeping things simple. And I want to continue in that vein this week. So today I'm going to be talking about practice time and drills, how to keep those simple and effective. On Monday, we'll be spending our time talking about the offensive side of the ball, how to shrink the world for your kids and keep things simple for them. On Tuesday, we'll be doing the same thing on the defensive side of the ball, how to shrink the world for them and keep things simple for them. On Wednesday, I'll be talking about uh, the weight room, how to keep things simple and effective inside the weight room. On Thursday, I'll be talking about how to do things within your coaching staff to keep things clear and uh, concise and simple. I think the word simple gets a bad rap. I think a lot of times people hear the word simple and they think dumb or not, you know, not, not, uh, somebody didn't spend a lot of time on that or it's so simple it can't be the right answer. And I'm hoping to prove this week that those, all those assumptions are false, uh, that the best teams, programs, really leaders in any walk of life are really good at this, at understanding how to shrink things and make them simple and be effective. If you'd like more information uh, from me, you can go to my website, fbcoachsimpson.com. You can reach out to me, fbcoachsimpson at gmail. And then I've, I just dropped my first uh, playbook on the gun to RPO system. So as we get into offensive stuff, if you're interested in that, that's available too. Okay, so today I wanna to talk about drills that translate. Uh, to me, I, I, there's nothing worse than watching somebody run a drill and they don't really know why they're running that drill. I see it all the time in multiple sports. You know, I've got my own children now that are coming through playing football, basketball, volleyball, playing all the different sports. So when I ask them about their practice, a lot of times they'll say, well, you know, what, what did you guys do? And they'll tell the drill. I say, well, how does that, what, how do you see that in a game? And a lot of times they have no idea. You know, and, and, and as they've gotten older, they've started realizing we need to associate the drill with the game. You know, that sometimes gets lost. As coaches, we understand where we're going, but do our players understand where, our, where we're going? There's a ton of great resources, guys, available. If you're looking to build in really good drills that I would recommend, because no one gives me money, so I'm just telling you what I really think, okay? InstaClinic, I just kind of found them this past week. They've got a lot of really good stuff out there, short and concise, you can go to and steal from. Uh, Atavis Tackling, I get a lot of my stuff from them. Great companies, a lot of great resources are out there. As a coach though, what happens a lot of times is we see something and we take it without knowing why. So if you're gonna go take something from some of these people that do really good stuff, or from me or from whoever, you know, you need to understand why you're taking that drill and how that works for you. There's a lot of really good drills that would not help my team. And so we don't do those drills, not because they're bad drills, but because they don't apply to my team and what we do. And, and then so you need to understand in your program, does this drill, do I see this drill on a Friday night, or if you play on Saturdays or whenever you play, do I see this drill lived out in a game and my player can see that drill there. If not, throw it out. I'll give you a good example. My team's a coordinator, uh, great guy, used to always open practice with agilities. You know, they had little bags and they'd shuffle and fill and this and that and, and, uh, and went to a clinic actually. And somebody talked about the same thing I'm talking about right now. If we don't see these drills, get rid of them. So we sat down, all of us did. He said, man, I how many times do you ever see a linebacker like high knee in through a bag at the high school level when you can't cut at the second level? Never. So why am I running that drill? Let's get rid of that, okay? And let's focus on another drill that we see all the time, okay? The other thing you'll get a lot of times is this. You'll come back, young coach, I was this way, go watch college practice, go watch a real successful high school practice. Well, if they do this, well, and that's great. Why do they do that? And is that something that can apply to you? You know, for, for me, practice is not about how many extra drills can I put in. 
is about being how effective with the simple drills that we do can we become. So I would rather spend more time where my kids understand exactly why we're doing this drill and how that translates on a Friday night. And if it doesn't, you get rid of it, okay? And, and I would even recommend we do a drill book and we organize and run all the way down with priority one on defense is tackling. So we're gonna spend a lot of time on tackling and I'm gonna scour out of this website, InstaClinic's website, these other guys' websites and scour them trying to find great drills and then try to find what drills apply to each position that I can see on Friday night and then working on how much time per drill. So when I go back, let's go back to the point, first point, simple gets a bad rap. You know, a lazy coach could just put a hundred drills in there. Now let's be good at those. But I take a lot of time to cut down, to go to filter through all this information and to make it clear and clean for my players. So that's something as a coach I want to challenge you to do when it comes to drills and your practice time. Drills that translate is what you need to focus on. Go steal from great people, but make sure it works for your school and your drills. Really excited about the rest of this week. We'll be walking through uh, offensively how to shrink the game for your players, defensively how to shrink the game for your players in the weight room and in your coaching staff. Hope you get something from this week. Again, if you have more information, my contact info up there on the board, fbcoachsimpson.com has a lot more resources as well. Hopefully something maybe will we'll work with your program. Appreciate your time.